Hey, you guys. So, as you can see, I'm outside. During this whole pandemic, I think I only went out the house maybe four times max, meaning not just to my corner store. So, I have been to Lowe's twice. Y'all, look at this house. It just went on the market and they redid the whole thing. It's flipping gorgeous. I want my house painted. But anyway, um, so yeah, I'm getting ready to check my local corner store because we're supposed to do like this little wine tasting thing today via Zoom. So I'm gonna see what I can see. To be outside and actually have on a mask, that is so fucking crazy to me. Like, it's just crazy. But also, I don't know how y'all can wear these motherfucking masks cause your girl can't breathe. Unless I'm just fat. Cause God. Okay, so my liquor store, they like no mask, no service. So I have my mask on. They also have plastic up at the um, counter or whatever. So I'm trying to pick out this wine trail. Okay, so I'm going to go with the Merlot. Now I need a white. Definitely not the Moscato. I see which one is on the sweeter side. This looks dry as hell. Uh-uh. See, I don't really like Chardonnay. See? Dry. But what's the percent? It's 13% though. Hmm. I might gotta go with that. Okay, so store was a success. I went with the yellow tail, so I got a red and a white. Also, now, I have not, like I said, like I ain't been out, I ain't been doing nothing or whatever. I haven't done Uber. I have been getting rides to where I needed to go. So, I didn't feel like walking up the hill. So I, you know, opted to go ahead and get on the bus. Now, it is good to know they are only allowing a certain amount of people on the bus at a time. So if they pull up and they see that you don't have on a mask and taking a proper precaution, they like, no ma'am. So, you know, the bus driver was like, look, you got, where your mask at? You got on a mask? Like, where's your mask? And she was like, you can't get on here. Here I go, look. And then she was at the capacity, but you know, it was a whole bunch of little kids. Like, y'all don't even have no mask on. So they basically letting people in, like the back of the bus that are coming in through the front. So since I was just going up the hill, she just let me get on at the front and stand. Listen, this shit is real. Like, no shit, and then look at her. You just out here doing anything. So I'm also walking around like my neighborhood. Why I think I'm lost? <laughs> I didn't go down the main street to come back home. I'm on one of these side streets. I think I'm lost. <laughs> okay, y'all made it <laughs> on my street. So I'm safe. <laughs> uh but also when I was walking, I seen this cute ass man. I'm not even gonna say a boy. He look, he's a man. <laughs> but it's like, <clears throat> uh, I can't even, don't even, cause no. But here are the two, well, the three wines I just had to purchase, but I'm only gonna bring two for the wine tasting. The first bottle is the Yellowtail Merlot. And this is more on the dry side. And this is 13.5%. And they were actually on sale at my liquor store for $5.99. And then I also picked up the Yellowtail Sangria, what looks like this. This is actually gonna be something I can't wait to try. This is 11.5%. It says sweet and citrusy, bursting with mandarin and orange flavors with a hint of red fruits. Can't wait to try that out because normally sangrias that's in a bottle, they don't normally be strong. And then I got the Yellowtail Pinot Grigio. And this is actually 11.5%, again, also on the dry side. But it says, enjoy with Asian-inspired food, 
on a warm summer day. Flavors, apples, pears, and passion fruit. Can't wait to try it. Now, and I also came home to a package. I already sprayed this down with like so. This is from a candle company, a local candle company that I am supporting. It's a black business. So I'll come back and open that for you guys. It is so crazy now, y'all, how we have to literally bleach and light all everything down that we bring into our homes. Especially, guys, if you have like bottles and plastic containers and stuff like that, get a wipe and wipe everything off just so it can be safe. Better safe than sorry. Thank you. And I was like, who is that? Yeah, she always bangs on the door to drop off the mail. All right, y'all. So here is my candle. Listen, I ordered this damn candle Sunday. She said she was mailing things out Monday, and it is here. Like I said, she's local though. I will leave her Etsy site across the screen and in the um description. So everything is packaged very, very nicely. She has a cute little thank you card, candle care instructions, and here is my baby. So yes, all her stuff is very secure, so you would not have no issue with your candle coming broken. So the name of her company is Na, what is it, Na Salas? Look, I put it across the screen. So cute little candle box. Got a lot of peanuts. Oh, it smells good already, y'all. And these are 100% soy. Oh my God. Oh my God, this shit smells great. And the scent I got is good vibes only. Again, these are 100% soy. Y'all, support a black business. I think they're like $15 and she has a set for like two for 25 or something like that. But yes, so bomb. In the house now, I'm actually getting ready to make my meal for the wine tasting that is gonna be happening today via Zoom. It's six o'clock. I'm actually gonna sit outside because I feel like I need to be back outside to get some air. Yep, I'm gonna do that. Asian, let me show y'all the salad because I did an Instacart order for Wegmans and I wanted to try a bunch of new stuff, actually. It's some different sauces that I want to try. So let me just go ahead and show y'all the sauces while I got y'all here. The first one is the General Tosos. General to sauce, whatever sauce. These are like maybe $2.99 a piece, but you know with Instacart, they uh hike up the price. So it's a little more on Instacart. But um, I want to try this. And then I also got the sweet chili. And then I had I had the sweet and sour because I went on ahead and made some sweet and sour shrimp and broccoli. Baby, I insert a clip. That shit was delicious. It was so fucking good. So, um, what was another thing I got? I uh, also got the Wegmans Organic Basting Oil, which has it's sunflower oil, garlic flavor, and herbs. It looks like this. This was about $6. So, this is basically something that you drizzle over, like, your vegetables and stuff like that. Yep, that's exactly what it's on the back. Drizzle or brush on meat, fish, and vegetables before grilling or roasting. Can't wait to try this. And what else did I get my Wagmans, y'all? Oh, let me show y'all the salad. This is the salad. What is it? Oh, it's a sweet kale chopped salad. So this is what the salad looks like. Um, I don't know if the dressing inside tastes good, but like I said, I'm gonna um make me some shrimp to put on top of here. And then the last thing I got from Wegmans is some garlic cheese butter. So it's a finishing butter. So it's great for pasta, seafood, and vegetables. So I cannot wait to try this. Oh, now I'm not a sparkling water drinker. Like I hate sparkling water, like the frosted ices, these little things. Like I hate sparkling waters, right? But Wegmans has their version of sparkling water, which are a dollar a piece. And these right here are so freaking good to me. I actually like them. We tried the black cherry vanilla and then the pomegranate something. But so far, I like them both. I enjoyed them both. These taste so good. So if you are more into like tonic waters and um, club soda taste and stuff like that, those will be good for you because that's, that's that's exactly what it tastes like. A tonic water or a club soda with a splash of um, um, 
you know, like a, a hint of taste. So with the one that had the vanilla in it, y'all know me, I put a shot of strawberry vodka in it. Boom. Adult sparkling water. Oh, it's one more thing I want else I want to show y'all. I ordered this little storage little. Hey, Miss Nelson. Good, how are you? And it's just open up, put your little junk in there. So I basically put my extension cord in there that I got for outside. All my little outside candles and shit. My little lanterns, charcoal. And then you can sit on it too. Like a little bitch. So cute. And then when my mom comes over, she's a um, cigarette smoker. Y'all know I don't like no smoking in my house. So she'll have somewhere to sit like right there because she normally sits there anyway to smoke on her little cigarette. Um, But yeah, what else I want to show y'all real quick? I think that's it. Oh, let me show y'all where I put my candle that I just opened. This is where I put the candle, good vibes only. This is like, well, she initially sent me some candles to review. I fell in love with them, so I went on ahead and made me a purchase. I freaking love that candle, y'all, it smells so good. Also, I've had this picture frame since Christmas. Shauna gave it to everybody at Friendsmas, and I was like, I don't have nothing to put in there. So I went on ahead and purchased a printable off of Etsy, which I would never do again because I can make it myself because I do have a printer. And I decided to put that in um, this frame. So I got inhale and exhale. I didn't frame inhale because I just need, you know, you sometimes just want to exhale. And I think it goes good with this bless sign, my little elephant, and then my hookah. Okay, y'all, so this is my smaller version of my hookah, which I will probably end up putting in the basement once my big one comes. Um, and then look, why is it leaking out of water? I need to wipe this shit up. But yes, this is the one I got from Amazon and it actually serves its purpose, but I can't wait for my new one to come and I will do an unboxing video and actually show y'all guys how I set up the hookah once I get my new one. But listen, if y'all want something inexpensive just for you and something that's small and dainty, Amazon will do it for you. the dressing that came in the salad. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> so you want me to put it on there or you want to control? You want me to drizzle it? Oh uh, yeah. She's not a not a solid dressing type of gal, but meanwhile. I'm gonna pour a lot and it's my turn. Me too, VJ. I'm about to pour some <laughs> Yes, VJ. Let me drink while y'all guess y'all. Yeah, I'm like, I'm about to go get a glass of liquor to pour a half cup to drink. Well, go ahead. Are y'all ready? Okay. Um, yeah. It's dry as fuck, but the aftertaste is extra but, dry. Uh, you, gotta take, you gotta taste another brand of Merlot. I mean, I like all the reds, but that's just too dry. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Who got bingo? God damn you. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. No, I'm not naked. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog because I have another video I want to upload for you guys. I'm still waiting for my loungewear that I ordered from Forever 21, which is taking forever in 49 days. Um, I also placed an order with a company called Fancy Homebody which they um you know sell like nice comfortable female lounge loungewear so i'm waiting for that to come and i'm also waiting on my new hookah to come i know y'all like if you talk about that hookah one more time y'all just don't know i am so excited so i will definitely do a separate video for that thank you guys for watching and please subscribe to my channel i appreciate all the love and support like comment subscribe share And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.